हेलो भिवर्स वेलकाम बेक टू यूट्यूब चेनेल तारे बाख मैं सृजन आज भिडिओ गुवाहाटी इूनिभार्सिटी अंडार एम कम एंट्रेस ट्वेंटी फाइव टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्रिपेरेशन अति इम्पर्टेन्ट एट सबजेक्ट है फिनेसियल एकाउंटिंग सो ये फिनेसियल एकाउंटिंग ऊपर मोस्ट इम्पर्टेन्ट एम सी किऊ क्या भिडिओर जरिए प्रवैड कर सो आपुन जो चेनेल सबसक्राइब कर ना इतना सबसक्राइब कर लग कारण एंट्रेस सम्बन्ध एने विभिन्न धरण भिडिओ आई थक सो लेट स्टार्ट फार्ष्ट क्वेश्चन हुई अफ द फलोईंग इज मेन्डेटरी इनफर्मेशन डिस्क्लोजर एज पार कम्पानी सेक ट्वेंटी थार्टीन अपशन ए रिजार्व एंड डिविडेंड पेमेंट अपशन बी नेम अफ द प्रिन्सिपल एक्जिक्यूटिव अपशन सी Human resource account, option D, inflation account. So answer will be reserve and dividend payment. Question number two: Under which basis incomes are recorded and recognized on their actual receipt? Option A, cash basis. Option B, accrual basis. Option C, hybrid basis. Option D, all of the above. Answer is cash basis. Question number three. Under which concept business will be carried on indefinitely? Option A, going concern concept. Option B, separate entity. C, accounting entity. D, matching concept. Answer is going concern concept. Question number four. Under which principle accounting entries shall be made at cost as and when transaction takes place? Option A, going concern concept. B, cost principle. C accounting entity D matching concept answer is matching answer is cost principle question number 5 which assumption recognizes non cash events and circumstances as they occur option A accrual assumption B accounting entity C cost principle D matching concept answer is accrual assumption question number 6 Which principle talks about anticipation of profits of no profits but provides for all possible losses? Option A, conservatism principle or prudence. Option B, accounting entity. C, revenue recognition. D, matching concept. Answer is conservatism or prudence principle. Question number seven. Provision for doubtful debts is an example of what? Option A, prudence principle. B cost principle C accounting entity D matching concept answer is prudence principle question number 8 appending notes below the balance sheet which principle states this option A full disclosure B cost principle C accounting entity D matching concept answer is cost principle Question number nine: Ignoring effect of inflation on in accounting, which principle states about this? Option A: Going concern concept. B: Cost principle. C: Accounting entity. D: None of the above. Answer is cost principle. Question number ten: Use of office cash for personal purpose. Which principle states this? Option A: Going concern concept. B: Cost principle. C: Matching concept. D: Entity concept. Answer is entity concept. Question number eleven: Which accounting standard talks about revenue recognition? Option A: Accounting standard two. Option B: Accounting standard three. Option C: Accounting standard six. Option D: Accounting standard nine. Answer is accounting standard nine. Question number twelve. Which accounting standard talks about accounting for amalgamation? Option A, S six, B S nine, C S twelve, D S fourteen. Answer is S fourteen. Question number thirteen. Which accounting standard talks about intangible asset? Option A, S twelve. Option B, S sixteen. Option C, S twenty. Option D, S twenty six. Answer is S. Twenty six. Question number fourteen. Which Indian accounting standard talks about inventories? Option A, IS two. 
ऑप्शन बी आई एस थ्री ऑप्शन सी आई एस सिक्स ऑप्शन डी आई एस नाइन एंसार इज आई एस टू सो फॉर आर स्टूडेंट आई एस मीन्स इंडियन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सर्विस बट फॉर कॉमर्स स्टूडेंट इट इज इंडियन अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन इन विच ईयर फर्स्ट आई एफ आर एस वॉज पब्लिश्ड जून टू थाउजेंड वन B June two thousand two, C June two thousand three, D June two thousand four. Answer is June two thousand three. Question number sixteen. Under which principle income should be measured in the period in which it it is earned? Option A: Going concern concept. B: Cost principle. C: Accounting entity. D: Revenue recognition. Answer is revenue principle. Question number seventeen. Which, with which matching principle is concerned with? Option A. Statement of profit and loss. B. Cash flow statement. C. Statement of position. D. Common sense statement. Answer is statement of profit and loss. Question number eighteen. Which type of entry is followed in measuring income under transaction approach? Option A. Single entry system. B. Dual entry system. C. Both the system. D. None of the above. Answer is dual entry system. Question number nineteen. The expenditure that results in acquisition of an asset or helps in increase the earning capacity of a business is called as option A. Capital expenditure. B. Revenue expenditure. C. Default revenue expenditure. D. None of the above. Answer is capital expenditure. Question number twenty. The, ex the expenditure incurred to meet the day-to-day -day expenses of the concern is called as option A. Capital expenditure. B. Revenue expenditure. C. Deferred revenue expenditure. D. None of the above. Answer is revenue expenditure. Question number twenty-one. The expenditure which, which are revenue in nature, but the benefit of which is likely to accrue to the entity incurring such expenditure is called as. Option A: Capital expenditure. B: Revenue expenditure. C: Deferred revenue expenditure. D: None of the above. Answer is deferred revenue expenditure. <coughs> Question number twenty-two: Which method of inventory valuation is useful during period of inflation? Option A: LIFO. B: FIFO. C: HIFO. D: None of the above. Answer is LIFO. That is last in first out. Question number twenty-three: Which method of inventory valuation is useful when prices are falling? Option A: LIFO. B: FIFO. H: C: HIFO. D: None of the above. Answer is FIFO. First in, first out. Question number twenty-four: Which method of inventory valuation is useful when the highest cost items are the first to be taken out of stock? Option A: Last in, first out. B: First in, first out. C. Highest in first out. D. None of the above. Answer is he for that is highest in first out. Question number twenty five. The system in which a business firm updates its inventory on a continuous basis are called option A. Periodic inventory system. B. Perpetual inventory system. C. Both the system. D. None of the above. Answer is perpetual inventory system. So, question number twenty-six. Debit balance of final account usually depicts option A expenses, B income, C revenue, D all of the above. Answer is expenses. Question number twenty-seven. Which statement depicts direct expenses on the direct debit side? Option A trading account, B profit and loss account, C position statement, D cash flow statement. Answer is trading account. Question number twenty-eight. The profit arrived at by deducting the operating expenses from the gross profit is called as a operating profit, b net profit, c gross profit, d none of the above. Answer is operating profit. Question number twenty nine. The fixed assets whose value gradually reduces on account of depletion due to use and extraction is known as option a wasting asset, b depreciable asset, c terminal assets, d current asset. Answer is wasting assets. Question number thirty: The assets which cannot be realized in cash or no further benefit can be derived from those assets are known as option A: current asset, B: fixed asset, C: fixed asset, 
D. Terminal assets. Answer is fictitious assets. Question number 31. Which agreements are agreements to sell goods but not a contract of sale? Option A. Higher purchase agreement. B. Installment purchase system. C. All of the above. D. None of the above. Answer is higher purchase agreement. Question number 32. Which of the following is pure sell? Option A. Higher purchase system. B. Credit sell. C. Installment purchase system. D. None of the above. Answer is credit sell. Is a pure sell. Question number 33. Under which system the buyer has the right to dispose of the goods bought after the contract of sale is completed? Option A. Higher purchase system. B. Credit sell. C. Installment purchase system. D. None of the above. Answer is credit sell. Question number 34. Under which system the outstanding balance after down payment is subject to interest charged? Option A. Higher purchase system. B. Credit sell. C. Installment purchase system. D. None of the above. Answer is higher purchase system question number 35 under which system a branch account is prepared in head officer ledger and each branch is considered as a debtor to head office option a debtor system b stock and debtor system c final account system d wholesale branch system answer is synthetic or debtor system Question number 36. Which method of branch account is generally adopted when the branch is small in size and doesn't maintain a complete set of books? Option A. Depot system. B. Stock and depot system. C. Final account system. D. Wholesale branch system. Answer is synthetic or depot system. Question number 37. Under the depot system, when goods are sent by the head office to the branch at invoice price, that is cost plus floating. Which account is credited in the head office books to remove the loading? Option A branch account, B goods sent to branch account, C stock reserve account, D branch adjustment account. Answer is branch adjustment account. Question number 38. If a dependent branch makes cash sales, how is this typically recorded in the head office books under the debtor system? Option A debited to branch account, B credited to branch account c debited to branch cash account d not recorded in the branch account directly answer is credited to branch account question number 39 in branch accounts if there is goods in transit at the end of the accounting period how is it treated in the head of his books option a debited to branch account b credited to branch account c shown as an asset in the head of his balance sheet d shown as a liability in the head office balance sheet answer is cost shown as an asset in the head office balance sheet since the goods in transit okay question number 40 drawings made by the proprietor during the accounting period will option a decrease capital b increase capital c decrease liabilities d increase assets Answer is decrease capital. Question number 41. If the partner's capitals are fixed, where is interest on drawing charges to a partner? Option A. Partner's capital account. B. Partner's current account. C. Profit and loss account. D. Drawings account. Answer is partner's current account. Question number 42. Upon the admission of a new partner, which of the following accounts are typically open to revalue? Assets and liabilities. Option A. Capital account. B. Goodwill account. C. Revaluation account. D. Profit and loss expense account. Answer is revaluation account. Question number 43. Which of the following is not a feature of a partnership firm? Option A. Mutual agency. B. Unlimited liability of partners. C. Separate legal entity. D. Agreement between partners. Answer is separate legal entity. Question number 44. The concept that states that the business is treated as a separate entity distinct from its owner or owners is known as option a green concern concept b cost principle c accounting entity d business entity concept answer is business entity concept question number 45 which of the following is an example of an input device commonly used in a computer's accounting system option a printer b monitor c barcode scanner d projector answer is barcode scanner 
equation number 46 out of which component of a computer's accounting system is responsible for permanently storing all financial transaction ledgers and master data option a central processing system cpu b random access memory ram c database d operating system answer is database Question number 47. In a computer's accounting system, what is the term for the process of entering financial transactions in the system? Option A. Report generation. B. Data entry. C. System backup. D. Data analysis. Answer is data entry. Question number 48. If a company purchases goods on credit, which of the following accounts will be credited? Option A. Cash account. B. Purchase account. C. Accounts payable account, D sales account. Answer is accounts payable account. Question number 49. Which financial statement reports a company's revenue and expenses over a period of time? B, option A. Balance sheet. B. Statement of cash flow. C. Income statement. D. Income of retained earnings. Answer is income statement that shown about company's revenue and expenses over a period of time. Question number 50. The principle that requires expenses to be recognized in the same period as the revenue they have to generate is known as Option A. Cost principle B. Revenue recognition principle C. Matching principle D. Full disclosure principle Answer will be matching concept. So if you have benefited from this video, please do like, share and subscribe our channel. Jodi video to bhalage like share kori bo. Aro jodi kiba question thake, then you can DM me through by Instagram, the link of which is already given in the description and also in the on your screen. That is Sujan Ghosh official. So enu ko dhono aro bivinno video ai thaki bo. And I hope to maloke e video to dara upakito hoisa and zibur ahi bo video ahi bo logya important video bo to maloke rabe. Oti Dorkari Hobo and I think common a hip Koribo Tomalokor entrance hot. So till then, take care. Thank you very much. Joy Hinjoyahom.